Morning, it's Fred. We're back on the George Elmy. We're upstairs, as you can see. We've had a, a bit of a big move in the shop. We're now standing where the canopy was. We've now got my workshop back because it took up such a big space. So now that's lifted on the board. We'll have a look at that later. So now we've got the canopy on. I'm busy prepping some stuff up ready for the, the lads to come in and start fitting brass work and stuff on the portholes. They've got their portholes here nicely cleaned up. They are ready to go on. There's a couple we're going to fit when we've got the canopy lifted a bit higher to make it easier for work. And then we're also prepping up the uh, the handrails. I'm prepping up some timber for that. And just show you basically, it's a nice lumber walk. What we do is we we take the corners off as much as we can on the saw bench, and then we we'll have to get our plane in, and you have to take the corners off. So take them corners off. Go right round like that. And then when we get as close as what we think we have, which is that. We have a little tool that we've made up. It's copied off an idea of a chair bodger, a chair spoke shave. And all it is, is it's a piece of stainless steel pipe with the inside diameter the same as the handrail. And I don't know if we can see that. We've cut with the saw, the grinder, little nicks in it. So it looks a bit like a hole saw on that end. So what we'll do is, I'm going to get it close enough, offer that up under the job, just tighten the place. That goes onto there. And just slowly turn that round, and that goes round there. Need a bit more shaving off there, but that gives you your guide for what you want, makes it nice and round, and that's the right size for our fittings. So that's just a, a little tip if you want to get something nice and round, piece of pipe with the weld on, a couple of handles to help you get it round, and that'll be run full length on the job. Then the handrails will then be fit under the ends, and everything's going to go nicely under the deck. They'll all get fastened on next, but they'll get made up, sanded and varnished before they actually get fit on the board because it means you'll have blind spots on between your fittings. So we'll get it all ready, take it off and then it's varnished. Okay, right, well if we have a look on the board now, we can see we're moving quite well and uh, we'll see the, the canopy on the correct place on the board. Right, well we're down on the fore end just before we go into the boat and have a look at the canopy. If you look up, we can see we've now got our handrails on. Our rope grab rails, sorry. Brass rings in the top to stop any chafing and then the, the whip round. And also up here we now have the fender in position and that's all lashed on. This was a big lump of brass. This was busy getting cramped on the last time we saw it. Now it's on and in place and the brass fits right up to the top, comes over and it actually comes underneath here, I don't know if you can see, it comes under about an inch and a half on the underside so that we don't, uh, when the anchor bay comes up, it's not going to snick on the edge of the brass. So that's all on and painted up. There's just a little bit of the white to be touched up on there now, but that looks the part, but that's a big strong bit on the job. Right, well as you can see, we now have the canopy on the board. Next job is when it's in position, these come out and then we'll start fitting our, our portholes and everything have got to fit and my lights on there. Now we'll be finished with the straps and we're not worried about getting any more damage around the size of these. So the holes will now be cut to the right size. But once we get a few of them on, it's going to start sparkling and then from there, the handrail will come on up here. It's a bit more prepping upstairs. So another nice bit of oak. Now if I can see down here now, all the buoyancies are in, right round both sides, they are all nicely finished. They're raised up on lats, 
so that the water flow can go underneath if they get any wave on the deck. And uh, just a step under here. Right. We've still got our straps on because what we're doing is we're doing some work underneath. So we're, we're going to bring it, we've got to cut some waterways in. We're actually going to pick it up and lift it. So although it's on the boat and down, it's not actually in its finished state yet. So there is still a little bit more work to do to it. Well, a lot has completed. They're all nicely in and painted. And uh, we've had to make our own hinges up out of some stainless because we just couldn't get them. But nice strong job. We know they're not going to be rusted up. But there's another rub down on there and a coat of varnish. And I think there's a coat of gloss to be rubbed on there in the inside. It's not very professional for the finish on there because what it is, we've still got tape on there just to keep the paint off it. So <clears throat> we will have some nice clean edges on there when they take the tape off. But that's done and we'll have another couple aft. Bollards in place now. But that can stay in place now because we left it out because we needed the height when we brought the canopy onto the board. So sockets being put in here, ready for cables. Now, they're not going to have fuel tanks on the boat as such because um, they don't want it in the museum to have a fuel tank on the board. So we're getting two temporary tanks just to get them back to see them. And they are going to be mounted up there. We'll make a framework to hold them steady. They'll be on there purely for transit and then they'll not be seen again after that. So that's in hand. The fuel pipe's going to come out through that deck fitting there. Again, there's some more portholes ready to go on the front. Now, if we come back to this side here, we'll show you some more fittings that we've got complete. Right, another job that we'll have completed now is these cages here for to hold the bits of line in place. The veneer and lines go into there. This one has two slots cut out of it for to hold the tiller. But there's, there's two positions where that tiller can go. There's another position it can go on aft. But there's, they are both on there with nice knees on the inside to stiffen it up. Brackets got it nicely fastened back. So that's another job all nicely done. Big lump of wood in the corner here with a shape. It's got a nice round on it. it uh, had to start with a four before to get it out. Sometimes to get the shape you need, You've got to go to really big timber, but we're there. This is the position that the uh, helmsman will be at. You know, it's where a stride of this uh, brass steering shaft that goes to aft. So he has to have a platform here with a gritted surface on it. That's for him to stand on there. You now, looking across a bit further aft, we have a board which is bolted on across which keeps the grating in that's a new grating that we've made it, that's over the area of where the two inspections are for your access to your props if you get ropes on so that's all nicely completed and again we'll have two lockers that are completed now one either side cameraman sitting on the other one so we're going to get that one in shot but that's uh, another job, nicely out the way. There might be some anti-skid going on top of there. Haven't made the mind up whether it's going to be a treadmaster or more of the black. We'll just have to wait for a decision from the lads from the trust on that one. Now up here, you see we've got the end sections fit to dress the end of the cabin off. They're not completely finished yet because my next job is For a lump of oak, which goes on here to take the windscreen, it comes across there like that, and then another piece across there, and it's shaped to come down and match into this here. So we've left quite a bit of thickness on there until we get the finish. So that corner will be dressed down a bit more. But that's like a double curve on there, and we'll have to get a piece of timber glued up to get that. In to get that shape without a double sweep, you have to start with a six by six. It's 
very much like the end of a staircase on, on the old fashioned banister turns. So it's a big lump of wood to get a little piece out. But that's it there and that's about it now. So a few jobs to finish, a bit more paint to go in. We've got my bulkhead templates to make on there and the door to go in bit varnish on the inside back so we're now looking very close all the lockers done seats done buoyancy done so she's looking really good so we'll just get another a big push on with the canopy fastened down and screen on and then we should be looking very nice so it'll be a good week next week because we'll be putting bits of brass work on and finishing jobs all the major jobs are done, it's just the, the finishing, but it's the finishing jobs that take the time. But we're looking very, very close now, so we're quite happy. Okay, well that's it for the day, so the next film you're going to see will be The Boat in the Water, which will be a long time coming and it will be a big deal. Okay, goodbye.